A male warms himself in the morning sunshine. Ready, he goes in search of nectar. Like here on some chamomile. The Christ's thorn is also an important resource for the Spanish purple hair streak. The females can be recognised by a larger orange band on the underwing and by their fatter abdomen. From two o'clock onwards, the males become more active, cleaning their antennae and opening their wings to warm up. Then a short courtship flight follows, which finishes with mating high up in a shrub. The females lack the large blue markings which the males have on the front of their wings. The females only have a few small blue marks. The most important host plant for this population at the River Andre isn't the ash, but Filaria latifolia. In the early afternoon, the females go in search of host plants on which to lay their eggs. The female climbs down the trunk, laying her red eggs in the forks of lateral branches, or where the trunk thickens. Several eggs have been laid in a small shrub, 30 centimetres in height, right in the middle of the flood zone, as we see here in the hollow of the branch. After several days of heavy downpours, the watercourses are transformed into torrents which overflow and drown the host plants. Plant and leaf debris carried by the current can easily be seen and indicates the level which the water reached. The eggs, laid on the small ash, have survived the flood. At the beginning of April, the first caterpillars hatch. An ant quickly notices the two millimetre long caterpillar. A week later, the caterpillar has gained half a centimetre. Now the caterpillar works its way down and hides in the leaf litter during the day. The caterpillars have on their last segment a newcomer's gland, which secretes a substance that attracts ants. The ants are very active around the caterpillars whilst they are feeding. Around mid-May, the caterpillars are ready to turn into chrysalises. By the next day, the chrysalis has formed. The ants are still there, which would suggest that the chrysalis also gives off pheromones and makes vibrations to attract the ants. From the beginning of June, the first butterflies hatch and climb up out of the leaf litter and spread their wings. The life cycle of the Spanish purple hair streak is complete. Water and ants have played their significant role in the peculiar life of this butterfly. It is therefore necessary to better understand their way of life in the hope of continuing to see this mysterious butterfly on the wing for as long as possible.